Hey William, I'm back and uh, I'm gonna make another little video of I'm just gonna show that how I end this and I'm gonna plait just a few more inches. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer this time. Um, hopefully that's good. So, tight. Under one, over one, under one. Pull tight. Under one, over one, under one. now. Nice thing about these gloves too is uh, they have uh, you know a fair amount of grip to them. I use these nitrile gloves and uh, you don't even really have to wrap it around your finger like you do in whip making since you're not pulling too tight and they have a good amount of grip on them. thing about using them is that your hands get really soft from uh, sweating in the gloves. <laughs> I'm not sure if they get softer than they would by handling the conditioner, but uh, yeah, keeps them pretty soft like a baby's butt. Okay, let's see where I'm at here. Getting pretty close to 10 inches. If you want, you can fast forward this. I'm just gonna, instead of making a whole nother video, just power through this. What I'll probably do is for these 10 uh, inch ones, let's go ahead and make uh, 20 inch ones and just cut them in half because that way you end up wasting less because you always have a little bit of pull length on the bottom here. And it adds up, you know, when you've got like 100 of these things. It's a little bit more of a pain when you get to the bottom. Almost 10 inches. Just a couple more hitches. Okay, that should be good. <clears throat> Just pulling all these tight here. Push it up a little bit. Pull them tight again. Okay. I don't know if you can see how straight that is. It's pretty straight. If I do say so. so it's another little thing.
Yeah, these are just temporary. The guy I make these for, he will untie this and put some sort of like metal clasp on the end of these. So don't worry about it being super nice. Okay, all right, there it is. So what I'm gonna do now, I've got a slick surface here. This is just um, tabletop like granite, a leftover piece you can get from like a tabletop ser service or wherever. Um, or you can just use like a slick countertop would work too. But you want it to be hard and slick. And this is just water. I'm just gonna dampen this just a little bit so it's uh, wet. Then uh, make sure your rolling device is clean-ish. See I put duct tape on mine because it's easier to clean with, like alcohol. You have to replace it every now and then. And then just roll away. Give it like a smoother roll first. And then you can go in with a harder roll, putting most of your body weight on there. up with and um, what I would do from here is let this dry and uh, then I'm gonna coat it with spray sheen and uh, polish it up a little bit and then it's good to go but I'll do the spray sheen part you don't have to worry about that um, so there it is hope that helps man